Interesting. loves us. Saxon Separatists. Let's actually do that. Do a production efficiency, dude. Saxon Separatists, where are they at? And where is the unrest? Oberlausitz. Which is here. I don't want to fight them. Let's not fight them. Russia, ri Russia rivaled me. Lovely. I'm so scared of you, Russia. Let's also protect trade in English Channel. I mean, it's just, you know, the gains we're making, we make from money there is just so much. We, we can't, can't not do it. Yeah, like it's actually turning our economy around single-handedly, basically. <laughs> um, give me a moment here. Are there any other states that I was going to take off that I can currently? Circassia, maybe? Hold on. Yeah, Sarcass is definitely not worth keeping around for this. But, uh, oh gosh darn it. I don't have an army over there, though. Kuyavia? Where's Kuyavia? It's up here. Oh, okay, I was in the completely wrong part. I thought that was in, like, Anatolia. Shows how much I know. Um... What about Sandomares? Sandomares is gotta be... I don't see it on the list at all. Sandomares. Where is it? There it is. It is 42 development. No, let's, let's keep that then. Darn it. Looking for a state I can get rid of without having to fight a million rebels. <laughs> hmm. We're gonna have to fight some rebels, I guess, so. Let's just. Alright, let's come in here. Deal with some guys down in this area real quick. Oof. Ouch. Where are our mercs? We have mercs still. You had mercs. Huh. The more you know. Get normal troops in there. Uh, sure, Britain and Russia, why not? I don't care. Doesn't matter. Oh shit, I forgot. Morale can't recover when you're <laughs> when you're forced marching. Forgot about that little detail.
Okay. That's a lot of money to do to lose. I'm not gonna do that. Um, okay. New advisor. Well, I shall rest you for cheap. I will do. Okay, we still have a couple years still. Until we need to <clears throat> be going to war. Uh, actually, yeah, we're, this is a really good sign. We're actually doing pretty well on money without even having our trade stuff going on. So hold on. Well, no, absolutely cannot afford to do that. We will hire an admiral just for the, like, trade bonus stuff. So now our money is going to shoot up. The goal, or trade, we're making 70. It's going to go up to probably over 100. 128, look at that. 50 ducats a month extra. That's a significant difference. Um, okay, so I want to do a few things. For one, even though this is only this is not at the hot, top of the list, I'm gonna do this because this way I can uh, come in here, and do that. Get our trade money's up even more. Okay, apparently we have to murder a bunch of our burgers again. We'll have to see if we can actually still support our economy as well as we're doing now once we're in war. Not so confident about that part. Russia's preparing to attack Scandinavia. That's beautiful because that means that Russia's going to get caught up in a war. Scandinavia's going to get caught up in a war. It's good for us. Anytime our enemies are all fighting each other is great for us. start to get in position now. So Verdun is allied with Hungary. 
That's all. So that's really easy for us, obviously. We use one army there for them. It looks like Hungary's at war with people, but uh, they also might be about to go with Trier, it seems. I don't know. <coughs> Again, um... We want to have... You know what, I think we're going to have you there ready to bum rush that. You there ready to bum rush that. You should be here ready to bum rush Dalmatia. You should be ready to bum rush Pest. I have my other guys ready for... No, we should just focus that at, at first, you know? Other people are fighting each other, so Great Britain is at war with Scandinavia. Castile is at war with people out in China big people out in China, so that's fine. They should be... They can't join the coalition yet anyway, so... And that war's probably gonna go on a while. Let's make some more money before we're gonna lose it all. <laughs> general actually how long till the next tech up six years okay definitely gonna hire some more some more generals oh that's beautiful that's beautiful hmm <clears throat> okay we're about a year out so in uh, let's just check one more time to make sure All right June of 85 so in January, we're going to raise up maintenance and everything. I think this is going all right. This is going all right. Steel's getting beat up, which I, I love to see that. What about Aragon? What do you have going on? Hmm. Hmm. You're going down there. You're going to Pest. You three. Yeah, well, let's uh, spread out a little better there. Alright, maintenance goes up. Forts will go up uh, a little sooner in March. I'm a little nervous. Russia left the coalition, good. Alright. Here we go, boys. Truce is starting to go off. Great Britain truce expired. Mamluk's truce expired. New Castile. Fuck. All right. They're joining the coalition. Colonial nations obviously can't do anything. Scandinavia. Scandinavia's at war. This doesn't matter. Rio de Prata. English losing at Venice. Venice probably will join. But nothing I can do with that. Actually, who is Hungary allied with? A lot of people, that's right. Okay. Definitely don't want to do that. Give me 
Vernon. Bowman. Isles, Brittany, Verdon. Okay. And everyone else in between. Okay. Time to go. Time to go. We actually have a navy that can handle this for once. <laughs> um, alright. We need our best combat general here. He's also our best siege general. That's pretty intense. Because here's what's going to happen. This is the idea, at least. This feels familiar, almost like we did this last, you know, 10 years ago. <laughs> Shit, okay, so that's unfortunate. Yeah, people are gonna start joining the coalition, but if it stays like this, I think it won't fire. I, I don't know. And people aren't war with each other, so it's it's not likely to fire right now anyways, but I'm, I'm, I'm thinking about the future, you know? Definitely a chance that it goes wrong. Darn, okay, that sucks. Um, it's okay. Yeah, Venice joined. No real surprise there. Mm. Something like that. Let's go there. Hungary definitely seems like they were a little better prepared for it this time. But uh, it really comes down to their play. Whether or not they'll actually be good at all against me. I'm not. I don't think we'll have too much of a problem, but still. Um, overconfidence is a slow and insidious killer. Okay, see what we got going on here. I should go see that real quick while you're over there. We should have a big gap in our defense there, and I hate that, but. It is what it is for now. Hmm. Hmm. Test has been completed. Another leader spot, so I'm gonna use it. Prague, okay, beautiful. Okay, I don't even need that much from Hungary. I'm mostly just doing this because I can. <laughs> mm -hmm. yeah, I literally need nothing from them, but I do want stuff. Okay, 
They lived. They make a stack wiped. That's what I was worried about. Okay, that'll get our money up. Hmm, <clears throat> we'll be fine. And I mean, yeah, this is this is going absolutely fine. Once we get these last like couple of sieges here, then we'll be good. So I do think Castile would be a good option. We'd fight the Papal State in Venice, um, but that's perfect, because they're in the coalition, at least Venice is, and I, I don't want, <clears throat> I'd like to reset that timer with them, you know? Castile should be easy to beat on our own, really. And if Hungary's unevolved, which they won't be, you know, then uh, absolutely seems fine by me to do that war now. grab some more uh, low countries land for the trade. Ooh, beautiful. Do you have anything above low enthusiasm right now? Like seriously, All right, we we really shouldn't take stuff. It's it's not even a question of just expansion. Obviously, that doesn't matter at all. But like, it's more a question of like coring time and stuff like that. So, and uh, in, in overextension as opposed to over uh, aggressive expansion. We'll just, we'll just wait a little longer. Let's go over here and uh, try to smash this army. Now they're medium. All right, that should do a big difference for us. Apparently not. All right, fair. Um. Run straight at him. Do it. Do it. Where the hell are you going, my dudes? Come at me. Yeah, yeah, bring in your army. Oh, I want you to. I want you to, mofo. Do it. Bring in your army. Oh, bring it in. Yes, bring it in. Oh, yeah, baby. Okay. <laughs> you gonna defeat me? Where are you running to? One of these provinces? Oh, are you running right here? Are you running right here, bud? Oh, did I catch you? Oh, no. How terrible. Oh, you missed that tick? Oh. You missed that tick of of uh, reinforcement. Oh no! How how awful! You must be so scared. Yes, I'm evil. I know. Get wrecked. All right, hunger, you're dead. <laughs> All right, so on that province, so on that province. I'd like the coastline of Dalmatia or whatever, but nah, let's not worry about it. Um, instead, break your alliance with Castile. the Papal State, and Trier. Mm -hmm. 
And so yeah, now we're gonna declare one Castile, by the way. Excuse me, Aragon would join them now? What the fuck, why? And excuse me? No, 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 this can't be right. It still considers Hungary an ally for them, even though I just broke that. I think it's not updated yet, hold on. Okay, good. This is more correct. Although, how, why would Aragon join? Why would Aragon join? Because they're in the coalition? I mean, you know what? This this is fine. I don't, I'm not scared of Aragon. Whatever. I'm not scared of Aragon. Why would I be scared of Aragon? Yeah, no, this is what we do. Okay. Money's useless from you, but uh, there you go. Perfect. All right, we're gonna get this last stuff here. You. Now we have control the whole northern coast here. Beautiful. And here's what we're gonna do. Now that we're out of that war. We can call in our allies. Oh, this is beautiful. Hold on. Absolutely, I'm doing this. Are you kidding me? Call in everyone. Call in the party. Who should we co-belligerize, if anyone? Papal State? Venice, no, let's not do that. So if we pay, if we do anyone here who is in the coalition, it will call in the rest of the coalition. And I'd rather not do that. So I, you know, so like, yeah, yeah, no, we shouldn't do this. We we should not co belligerize anyone, except for maybe the papal state, but. Yeah, the Papal State, because the Papal State is not in the Coalition, so that would be fine. We'll call in the Papal State, we'll bring in one person, Nupe, who literally is one province minor. So, uh, it'll, fi it'll be fine. We have all these colonial stuff I don't care about. Boom, let's go. Morocco, I'm really sorry about this, man. You're about to be the, um, you're about to take a lot of heat. I did not wait for my dudes to get in position at all, I just realized. <laughs> that was, uh... Not very clever of me. It's okay. It's okay. Now oh, this is beautiful. Alright, so here's what we want to do. We're here. Hmm, okay. War at war with all of Italy, <clears throat> all of Iberia, and most of North Africa. <laughs> and the Low Countries. I hate the border war in Italy. It's pretty bad, this, this, uh, this campaign. So here's what we do. Uh, 621 is beautiful, and that's a good air. We still have states to make. Um, Upper Schwabia. Why not? Uh, actually, if anything, I should have kept one open for um, low countries. That's okay. Uh, that's okay.
beautiful. Look at that. Alright. Not about 40 years left, and we only need a couple more wars. So actually, we literally need one more war, and then to annex Hess. Oh, shit! My fleet. Okay, oh, okay. Whew, thank goodness. At least my fleet... Uh, it didn't get, like, completely wiped. Oh, God. My fleet is key to my money when I'm at peace. So, whoo, that was a little too close for comfort. Yeah, you stay in the port. This is going to be easy war, because it's like we already have the Netherlands locked down. We have allies dealing with overseas stuff. Um, we just have to focus Italy and Iberia, and that is really not that big a deal, especially once we can actually get over there and get some forts. Um, once we get some defensive forts, we'll be absolutely fine. Especially because Castile is still at war with, like, all of China, basically. <laughs> so, they've, you know, they, I think they've been a little off more than, a little, they bit off a little more than they could chew, and we're gonna punish them for it, you know? No, this is annoying, obviously, but whatever. On the Siege of Milan, beautiful. spread a little thin, but I think it's okay. I think it'll be okay. Alright. Um, we're gonna go on a little bit of an expedition here. Expedition to Iberia. Yeah, let's do that. Okay. Absolutely, we need to pull back here. This is too dangerous. Cuneo's Mountains. Oh, this is brutal. Uh, Okay, let's pile on there, honestly. Why not? Let's try it. Who can pile in more? That's gonna be me. Maybe not! I don't know, man. This is a rough battle for both of us. Oh, Hess! Hess! The cavalry has arrived. Yes, we won. Beautiful. It was a rough battle. Actually, I didn't even see the result. I didn't look at the results. I should have. Yeah, if we can get in here, this would be nice. We should. I want to get Aragon out as quickly as possible. So they're the main one that actually worries me a little bit. Yeah, I guess the Papal State too, but... Um... No, you were good where you were. Go back there. Yeah, do you really want to fight me? Papal State? I didn't think so. I want to get the Papal State out ASAP as well. Mm 
Hmm. I wonder if... I want to, like, release Milan as a vassal. I think that'd be cool. Get another little vassal over here. That would last till the rest till the, for the rest of the game, you know. All right. I mean, yeah, I don't see any other armies around, so I'm just gonna focus these sieges and just wait, chill. We're gonna be suffering some attrition, but it's okay. I wonder. Yeah, we're gonna. Okay, we're actually we're not suffering enough that we can't. And getting some back, some growth. Let's go up to speed three then. So we're mostly waiting here. Hold on, one sec. Let me text my girlfriend, see when she's gonna be home. Now they are finally actually moving into here, so that, that's okay. Although, you actually want to do this. Okay. A little surprised again, but uh, I don't know, not too surprised. Yeah, just go through that for it. That's fine. That, that makes sense. No, that's fine. And we form this. Yeah, no way they make that in time. Right? Right? Are you shitting me? Oh, okay, thanks. Ooh. <laughs> That's good though, because that actually also helps with progress. Man, you just like throw in manpower away, don't you guys? I actually so let's look at this battle. Once this battle's over, let's actually take a look at the results. Um yeah, we're still killing more just because of our high discipline and stuff, you know? That's good. Hey. Okay, that's the bad joke. No, don't be on Force March. That's part of the problem here. Yeah, you're trapped, bud. No, I ain't letting you frickin' get through. You're trapped. Oh, I barely made that in. I barely got that army in there in time. Gosh darn it, they're gonna retreat the other way. Yeah, whatever. Alright, that's fine. Um, can I get the Papal State out? We could. We could belligerize him, actually, so... That's why it's a little easier, I think. Um, I, I don't care about taking anything from you, Papal State. I don't know, Rome would be funny, I guess. But I'm not gonna do that. <laughs> Maybe I should, though. Now I've said it, I'm like, now I can't get that out of my head. I'm like, that would be... That'd be good. Let's do it. Oh, shit! I was wrong. They retreated there. They didn't retreat anywhere further away. Shit. Okay, let's yeah, pile on. That makes sense, actually. Cause we, as I was going to say, we have a lot of forts over here. No way. Now they're going to go back that way. Alright. It's fine. Aragon is kind of frazzled, it seems. They were doing one thing, now they're going this way. Good by me. That means they're wasting time. 
This army is so weak, they can't even siege a province here. Wow. Uh, get up to friendly territory. Just just get out of here for now. You are not going to help at all. You're going to get stack wiped. That's what's going to happen. Okay. Expeditionary force is actually going very well. And now our allies are making it. Oh, this is beautiful. Why was I ever worried about this campaign? <laughs> There's obvious answers to that. You know what we should do? We should build networks here, because I, I still don't know if we'll actually be able to take all this. I don't think so. We might have to truce break towards the end of the game or something. I'm not sure. We'll see. We'll see. Imperialism helps, so, you know. Venice into smithereens. No, we'll smash. Never mind, we're gonna smash the Papal State into smithereens. First off, Papal State, can I get a Rome from you? I can. Let's do it. Let's just let's just do it. No, we should get rid of everything they have. Yeah, we should we should keep going with Rome. As much as it's gonna be annoying. Aragon's running around uselessly, just kinda like you got chicken with their head cut heads cut off, so you know. They can't figure out what to do, and they're suffering massive attrition while they do it. So I'm not too worried about them right now. They seem to be dealing with themselves enough. Okay, um... No, best siege boy. Come over here. Did we stack with that army just, like, in a normal battle? Wow. Yeah, loans, of course. No surprise there. Uh, that was brutal. But uh, not very surprising necessarily. We're gonna just smash our way through these guys. Pretty much easy money across the board. Oh, I guess you know Castile's here too. That makes sense. I forgot. That, you know. Yeah, they have places to run. Forgot about that being a thing. You know, Naples being a thing. Forgot about Southern Italy. That's fine. It's a bottleneck. Not that. Not that hard. Two armies. Two or three armies can handle it. So yeah, that's what we'll do. We'll have you armies here. Actually, yeah, I'm gonna have you come back up here now. Yeah, where is that giant Aragonese side? They're just doing nothing of note, really. So. People stay. Guess what? You're giving me Rome for memes, basically. Get rid of yourself with Aragon. Get rid of yourself with Castile. Get rid of your stuff with France. Mm, okay, no France then. We're gonna wait longer. I mean, like, why wouldn't we? We're just getting more war score, exhausting more other enemies. Um, do you see what I see? Of Venice, of Venice, letting me kill them. Let's see. Alright, um... We should just peace out Venice, honestly. But I do kind of want to release a vassal from them, like Milan. Is that really going to be worth it, though? Get three provinces for them. A two-level fort. A little bit of money. Um, I don't know. It might be worth it. But I tell you what, that's okay, because what we can do is we can just take it now and we don't need to spend the points on it, you know? Oh shit, <laughs> never mind, they won't even do it. Uh, you know, I'm just going to piece them out, because they're going to be annoying. They're more, it's more annoying than it's worth. Get rid of some of your cores and stuff. 
Actually, we should take money. We need money more than anything else, so... Get rid of your alliance with Castile. Yeah, get out. Alright. When is our truce with Trier up, by the way? 92, so we have plenty of time to finish this war. We're not going to need that much time, so... Okay. Three and three, so it doesn't really matter which one goes where. There's the 70 stack. Probably going to smash that... Hormuzian army, but uh, it's okay. That's relatively all kind. Hmm. Okay. Yeah, Morocco. Poor Morocco. I just keep getting them murdered. You know, I think I'm actually. Oh, okay. We got an old with them, anyways. I was gonna say. <laughs> I think it's about time we got rid of them. They're no they're not worth being an ally anymore. And we're doing fine. Hormuz, on the other hand, is actually a really useful ally for scaring off the coalition. And Vijayanagar, too. Oh, that's rough. That army's probably coming straight for me. Gotta watch out. We have the Shravani army next to me though. Yeah, I knew this was happening. Expected this pretty much. The moment I saw it coming this way, I was like, yeah, that's going for me. I mean, I'm in the mountains. What do you expect? But I don't blame them. But uh, I'm going to destroy them. <laughs> Just so they know. <laughs> 